know it's, I know it's elections. So we keep on hearing about the polls. Yep. One fact that never gets talked about is the polling uh, sample. Isn't it, the, when the Gallup poll and the Rasmussen poll, isn't it a uh, polling just a limited sample of people where we get these poll numbers for the president and everything else? Yeah, but actually that's, that's typically all polling. First of all, polling is scientific. Uh, and so Nielsen is a limited sample. Arbitron is a limited sample. Uh, but again, it is, it is based upon very scientific models. And when you look at polling, they are very consistent in terms of what ends up happening. Uh, and so I hear people all the time say, oh, we aren't polled. Now, it is important to look at the methodology of a particular poll. Because if you have some polls that are measuring people based upon home phones, they're using cell phones for a lot of people these days, that's a whole different deal. Uh, and so a lot of the polling people focus on that as well. The key is the methodology. But you also have an issue of, are they interviewing likely voters? Are they interviewing registered voters? You could be a registered voter, but you're likely not to vote. Uh, and so you look at all of that. The, the, the problem today is that you have, it has become such big business and you literally have a poll, you know, every hour that all of a sudden it is now diluted. Uh, at CNN, for instance, uh, there are some polls that we don't promote based upon the methodology being used. Mm, okay, okay. So, all right, m a lot of the talk has been the discussing the, the midterm elections and, right. and the possibility of Republicans taking the House and, and possibility of taking the Senate. Yep. What do you think uh, the president's being out on the, on the stumping yard again, do you think that's going to help drive votes, or, or, or you think the recent polling numbers is going to have a negative out, outcome? Well, well, first of all, it, it's important for the president to be out there uh, laying out what is the message. The problem for Democrats over the past year or so has been an inconsistent message, uh, and so they're sort of trying to figure that out right now. But a midterm election is really based upon getting out your base. Uh, and so you typically have the people who are already strong voters who will come out in the midterm election. They've got to get their numbers out. The problem is, is that there's a 20 percent gap between of enthusiasm between Republicans and Democratic voters. That's a huge problem. Uh, and so what you see today with Republicans in 2010, you saw with Democrats in 06 and 08, they're enthusiastic because they did not like Bush. And so the negative drives voters. That's how it works. And lastly, uh, I read, I read uh, you published an article where you spoke out about the recent controversy going on in Atlanta with the church and uh, Bishop right, A. Right, Long. Right. And are you, are you dis are, I'm not going to say disappointed, but were you surprised that he didn't step down? I know that your article said that, you know, maybe in the midst of a controversy like that, he should step down. Were you surprised? Well, no, I mean, I laid out the rationale as to why he should step down. Not because he's guilty or because he's innocent, but simply for the, for the mention of the church to move forward. No, it's not surprised he didn't step down.